Anybody know what this is? That's a big hole. That's what we've been looking at for what? Four months? Well, it ain't gonna have no hole no more. Y'all look at this pretty thing. We finally getting an attic ladder in. All we gotta do now is him cut some trim and it'll be my job to paint it. But have y'all ever seen an attic ladder that you had to cut yourself? I'm gonna turn around and Buddy can tell you what he had. He had to do some sawing or something. Yeah, this is an aluminum Louisville ladder. And they sand it basically for multiple arrangements and you cut it to fit. Well, they actually give you the lines and the measurements, but uh, I really should have. It says do not take this off, do not take this off till you get it in there. But I advise anybody that does it so you don't make a mess in the house. <laughs> go ahead and measure your height from your ceiling down and go ahead and cut your ladder before you go in the house, because now I got to listen to Miss Lippy <laughs> as we clean this mess up where all these aluminum shavings. Now, we did use a vacuum cleaner holding it while we were doing it. I'm going to drop the camera and but, show them your mess you're talking about. It ain't no mess, y'all. It's pretty messy. It's so well, I mean, there's the little sawdust. You wouldn't want to walk on it barefoot. No, you that. wouldn't want to walk on it barefooted. And these holes they send don't line up, so I got to go get my drill bit. And they don't send you but four boats, two on each side. You know, I like to go overkill, so we're going to go get four more boats. Oh, Lord. And put them in there, because I'm going to make sure I don't bust my bottom when I go up there. Yeah, what's the weight capacity? Well, this here is actually 375. Oh, so you good. The other one, I had it maxed out. I ain't going to lie to you. I was already on the, on the downhill side of that one. So, uh, yeah, the one in the garage right now has got to be replaced when I redo it for the closet and all mm -hmm. that. But I'm actually going to... Reset the uh, ceiling rafters out there and put the them. wide one. This is the narrow. Out in the garage, I'm going to put the wide one. And, uh, yeah, because right now. And how much did you have to cut this out yeah, for them right to get there. the old unit down? I had to cut that much off of this one. Oh, let me show you. cut that much off of this ladder. It's a kit, so you just cut what you need off. I had to cut that much off. But how much did you have to cut out of the hole in the attic, though, for that unit to go well, out? I had, I had to, to take to out in. four inches so the unit would go up through the hole. Yeah. It was four inches wider than what the ladder was. So I had to scab it back in and put this ladder back in because it's not quite wide enough with door trim and pictures and whatever else if you put the wide ladder. So it's going with a standard narrow. Which uh, is perfect. The one in the garage will be a wide one. Drilling holes right now. I'm getting them shavings all over the floor. Yeah, let me show you on the shavings. Yeah. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up on them shavings, but they everywhere, y'all. So you drilled you a new hole? Yeah, I had to. I did my one on each side match up. Oh. Now they tell you they do. Mm-hmm. But there's a little bit of difference in the height. You could say eight foot, but it goes from eight to eight three on that chart, so maybe it works for one of them, but not quite for this one. And you gotta tighten these up. You know what comes right after tight? Broke. <laughs> I like the rubber feet that's on the bottom. It won't scratch the floor. That's right. And I like the legs or the steps 
not. They actually kind of go up some. I like how to me it looks like it does. From the inside. Yeah, they're they're tilted up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's what I thought. I like that. Except coming down with something. Well, I ain't gonna come down with nothing. Oh. That thing's solid. Oh, I like this. I poke your head up in there and feel how much heat's up in there and tell me if you like it. Oh, it's <laughs> hot. It's hot. Well, what's all this stuff? What's all what stuff? This stuff. That's what I just pulled out of there. Oh. I gotta bring it down. Oh, I'll bring it down. I need an elevator. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. That saved me a whole lot of trouble. I've never been up here, over here. Well, go on up. We'll shut this door and see how long you stay up here. <laughs> got a lot. People pay high dollar for a sauna. You got one right there. Yeah, I don't need to do no sauna. You get sauna. you a wet towel, wrap it around you and go up there. You'll be steaming in just a little bit. I say you got a lock. Huh? That's my buddy if you had a lock once you get Put up there. Put a lock on it once she gets up there? Yeah. What do you find? A bunch of screws or something, nails. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Give me my phone. Oh, I like that. Oh, look like that. Oh, but that's I ugly. I got a shim it. Y'all, I got a paint, and he's got to put trim yeah, on Yeah, we'll put them other ones in there. I got to shim it now. I got to back. He's got to shim it. I got to back that one screw out, bring this one in. And then you got to come back with the trim, and then I have to go up yep. and paint it. But I'm going to have to prime that door before I paint it. Get her shimmed up good. I don't think She'll that paint's going to gonna go. hold good without a prime. But oh, it's going to be so nice. Well, it don't look like he had to do nothing, did you, bud? I just wiggled it around. Had a piece of stuff hanging on this side. Yeah. But it closes and it closes tight. Now i got to insulate around the inside seam, trim around this outside, and then we paint it. What are we doing with that string, though? Well, right here, we're going to get a better looking string since it's inside the house. Yeah. But that's what came with it. So. Does it have to be that long? No. It's got to be as long as your arm can reach because I can reach above you, so however far you. Oh, well, it's need. adjustable. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I don't like that. But well, it's not like the old one that had a piece of balloon string on it. Yeah. No, it had balloon string on it. That's some old balloon strings on it. This oh. attic door is actually insulated. Oh, wow. Where the other one was not, it was just a piece of thin board. Oh, well, now that's nice. So that'll help out a like bunch. That. Well, there y'all have it. We have a new attic door. And I didn't know it was insulated, so that's a bonus. Anything to help save on keeping the air in and heat in in the winter. Not escaping like it's been for four or five months with plastic, because even though you had it sealed, every time a unit would kick on it, suck it in, bring it out. Y'all, I'm sure, I, I'm, I'm betting it probably cost every bit of a $100 extra a month. I'm just guessing. But that's what we're into today. We'll get that all finished. Uh, probably not the trim, he has to get one piece. We've got some, but he's got to go get one piece. So that'll probably be sometime this week. I'll get it painted. That'll be behind us, and we're fixing to move out to the shed this afternoon and tomorrow. So today's Saturday. You'll see this video here in the next couple of hours. So I hope your weekend's going good, and as always, stay safe, stay well, and God bless.